Excitement continues to build towards our next total solar eclipse on April 8th. It's right around the corner and field meteorologist Michael Armstrong joining us here in studio. Uh, Mike, I know you're gearing up for the eclipse as well. <laughs> what preparations are state officials making for this? Well, first of all, I can tell you witnessing totality of a solar eclipse is unlike anything I've ever experienced. In 2017, it was incredible. And today I spoke with Secretary of Tourism Shelley Zumwalt about how they are getting ready for thousands of visitors. I think the message that really we want to resonate is it's an opportunity to unplug and kind of let the pressures of the modern world, you know, melt away and really be in awe of nature. The path of totality will be impacting rural southeast Oklahoma, a part of the state with limited infrastructure. But overall, um, we've really just been working with our DPS partners to make sure that we've got crowd control, we've got enough rangers, you know, they're going to double triple their force that's down there during this time for traffic but also just to make sure people are safe. I asked Shelly about what people should expect when it comes to cell phones and navigation. If you're dependent upon technology to be successful with the eclipse you need to have a backup plan because I think that there's just there's not great service down there anyway. The Oklahoma Highway Patrol will have extra troopers and here are some key things they recommend. One, plan for travel delays. Two, fill up your tank and stock up on groceries ahead of time. Three, don't stop on the shoulder or the sides of roadways. Four, watch extra close for pedestrians. And five, don't try to photograph the eclipse while driving. We fully expect that we're gonna have so many visitors that um, it's gonna be a party, it's gonna be fun, but we're all gonna have to be in it together.